In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a Formule in conjunction with Google Forms and Google Sheets to create Google Forms that will send automated emails to parents. Uh, if you want to see this in action, uh, one thing you can do is watch my other video. I have another video that's much uh, shorter than this, and it's just kind of a demonstration of what Formule can do. So uh, I'm currently in my Google Drive. I'm logged in, and so I'm going to create a new form. So we're going to start by creating a form, and I'm going to create a simple one for the sake of this video. The form that I'm going to create is just a missing assignments form. So basically I'm going to use this form to notify parents if, if a kid doesn't have their homework or doesn't have a project the day it's due. And so my first question on the form is the name and I want students to put their first and last name here. And I'm going to change that to a text type question. And that way whenever the parent receives the email, whatever the kid types in as their name, that's going to show up in the email that gets sent to parents. So there's our first question. I'm going to add another question. And the second question will be the name of the assignment. So what's the title of the assignment that they're missing? Once again, I'm going to change it to a text question. I'm going to make it required so that they can't leave it blank. And then lastly for this one, and this is important, I'm going to have the last field be their parents' email address. And so whatever they type in here will be the email address that our form gets sent to whenever they submit the form. So make that a required question as well. And now basically we've got our form set up. It's that easy for, for a simple example like this. Um, now if I go back to my drive, here's the form we just created. And down below it, if you're familiar with Google Forms, you know that it's automatically going to create a sheet of responses, basically an Excel file. Uh, where it documents every time someone fills out the form. And you can see that it's got the time and then our three fields that we created. The name of the student, name of the assignment, and the parent's email address. Uh, and so from here, and, and I want to be specific that we have to do this next step from here in the sheet. I cannot do this from the form. So we're going to stay in the sheet and I'm going to go to add-ons. And now is where we use Formula. Now if you've never used Formula before, you're going to have to go down to get add-ons right here and you'll click it and then there's a little place to search and you can just search for Formule and install it from there. It's very straightforward. Once you do that, it should show up in your little add-ons menu like I have here. So I'm not gonna go through that because it's very simple, but you can go to add-ons. Once you have it installed, go to Formule and click launch. And now we're gonna set up the conditions and the email that will be sent to parents uh, upon the submission of this form. So uh, I'm just gonna select form responses one meaning that this is the information from this form that's going to be sent to parents. And the form trigger and the time trigger, this is when it's going to send the email. And let me explain that. This first option, if I select on, it says send on form submit. That means that it's going to uh, send the email to the parent as soon as that kid hits submit on the form, so instantaneously. What you can also do if you want, um, and, and depending on what you're setting up your form for you may want to use the time trigger and this is where you can set it up to send uh, every day at 3.30 it'll send whatever was filled out that day um, or you can have it sit every hour it will send out whatever um, forms have been submitted so you can set up a timer but I just like to send the individual emails as soon as the kid hits submit so I'm going to select on for that one and I'm going to go to next now I'm just going to create one email template uh, if you really want to get complicated you can create several templates um, and, and that way it'll send a, a different email that's worded differently to the parents depending on how the form was filled out. Um, I've done this for a tutorials form where it words it differently regarding on whether the kid came in just for homework help or came in to retake a test. But for the purpose of this form, our simple example, we're just going to use one template. And our template we're going to send for all rows. Once again, if you want to play around with this later, you can have it send um, a different email for a certain kid. So if little Johnny is your problem kid, whenever he types it in, you can have it send a different email to little Johnny's parents or, um, you know, you can just kind of play around with that. Uh, but we're not going to mess with that. We're just going to send for all rows. I'm going to save the template settings and then I'll click next. And here's that, that one template that we've created. Here's where we're going to build it. So here's where we're going to put in what our email to the parents are going to say. Uh, if, you have, if you decide to do several templates, you can select them up here and you can edit all your templates from this screen. Uh, but my two, now remember, one of, the one of the fields from the email 
with parent's email address. And if you look over here to the right, you see these fields, and these three fields right here, one, two, three, are the fields that we created in our form. And so what I want is I want whatever the kid typed into that form as his parent's email address, I want it to send the email to them. So I'm just gonna click parent's email address. And so that's just gonna fill that in automatically when the kid uh, submits the form and it's gonna send it to that email address. I'm gonna go to the subject and I'm gonna say missing assignment for algebra. And so every parent's gonna receive that. Now the reply to, you can change this if you want meaning when the parent receives that email and they click reply, you can change the email address that it sends their replies to. I'm not messing with that now because the default, if you can see up here, it's kind of grayed out, is whatever account I logged into my Google Drive with. And since I'm using my teacher account, I'm just gonna leave it as the default, so I'm not gonna mess with that field. Now, here's where we type in the, the body of our email. So I'm gonna say parent or guardian this is an automated email to let you know that. And I'm gonna click name, and it's gonna fill in the name of the student. Now, whatever is inside these uh, less than and greater than symbols is gonna be what the kid typed into the form. Now this, currently, the name of the two colons will show up in the email, so I like to delete that. So it just looks like a natural email. So let's say you know he typed in little Johnny, if I leave it like this, it's just going to say, this is an automated email to let you know that little Johnny did not turn in. And I'm going to click the name of the assignment. Once again, I'm going to delete that in the colon so it doesn't show up in the email. And type in today. Or I could put in on the current date, and it's going to fill in the current date. So let me recap what this email is going to say right now. Let's say... Little Johnny didn't turn in Algebra Worksheet 1 uh, today. So this current email I have it set up will say, this is an automated email to let you know that Little Johnny did not turn in Algebra Worksheet 1 on, and then it's going to put the date. And I'll delete that. So on whatever, January 3rd, 2016. And then I like to add he may, or I better put he or she, may turn it in tomorrow for a 15 point penalty. Now just put a little bit at the end. I like to emphasize or point them all that it's automated because um, sometimes, you know, the kid is typing in the name of the assignment. They might misspell something. Um, they might have a grammatical error or something like that. And I don't want to send emails to parents with grammatical errors uh, and have them think that I don't know how to spell or use punctuation. So I like to indicate that it's an automated email um, and that I didn't sit here and type this out. And I like to type in my little signature at the bottom. Um, So I've got my little signature at the bottom. Uh, and, and yeah, our email is basically set up. So I'm going to do preview and send all. And sometimes this preview screen uh, loads for a long time or doesn't load. So usually I'll wait here for a minute and that is click X. It's not important that we see the preview. We can just test it out and then delete it if we don't like it. So we're all set up here. So let's go back to our form and try it out. So I'm going to go to view live form. And so here's the... Um, missing assignments form. So I'm going to, I'd hand this to a kid while we're going over our homework. He'd type in his name, the name of the assignment, and his parents' email address. And I'm just going to put my email address here for the sake of testing this out. But I'm going to click submit. So the kid's doing that while we're going over everything. And then if I go to my email, the email gets sent, and here's the email that parents will send. It'll say parent guardian. This is an automated email to let you know that little Johnny did not turn in Algebra Worksheet 1 on that date. He or she may turn it in tomorrow for a 15-point penalty. That looks great, so that's what I'm going to go with. Uh, and then if I go back to my form itself, that's where it documents all my parent contact. It says when the email was sent, uh, the email address it was sent to, so on and so forth. So if uh, you have any questions about how to use Formula, uh, you can email me at that email address right there, and I'll get back to you uh, whenever I can. Hope you enjoyed the video.